Oh, oh hi! Welcome back to the Behind the Knife video series. In these next few segments, me and Hugo here are going to take you through the basic suturing techniques. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to start by talking about the simple interrupted. This is most commonly used to close lacerations, um, but only a technique used to close the skin. First thing to work on is just loading the needle correctly. So you want to load the needle just on the tip of the needle driver, approximately one half to two thirds the way from the pointy end. Um, that just gives you a balance of control of the needle and, uh, and range. So in looking at the incision itself, your first should be about halfway between. Now grabbing the skin edge, needle entering orthogonal to the skin, perpendicular to skin. Your first one is often easier to take in two bites. So, reloading in the field there can be just a little quicker. Pulling through so you just have a short end. Grabbing the skin on the other end lets you get a good look at it. Coming out about equal distance from the skin compared to the other side. Pulling taut. And then it's just the same instrument tie we went over before. So the first is two wraps. You'll notice this first is under a bit of tension, so I'll do that reverse move that I showed. And then one wrap. One wrap. Wrap once. Your general goal is just to get even sutures. You don't need to get right down to the knot in this because you're going to need to be able to find this to take this out later. So just make sure you have about even ends. The rest is less important there. Taking the remainder of the incision, splitting it in half. Needle in, rotating through, following the curve of that needle. You'll see once it's closer together, you can take it in a single bite. Okay. Pulling that through. And just another instrument tie. So two wraps. It's less tension now, so I don't need to do any of that reversing stuff. I am using silk suture here just because it shows up well, but this is not typically what you'd use to close the skin. Typically you're gonna use nylon, proline, some sort of synthetic monofilament. Okay, one last one for demonstration here. Entering perpendicular to skin, following the curve of the needle, going across about the same distance. Sometimes you don't have quite enough needle showing. You can do a little pitch catch, throw a little more of the needle through. Two wraps to start, and then one wrap. Okay, so just a few more pointers to think about when you're doing this. Um, you're going to have to take these out someday. Right? So be kind to yourself and to your patient. Pull your knots off to one side. You do not want the knots hanging out in the middle because this is going to get all scabbed and crusty. If you're having to dig around in their scab to take off these sutures, a person's going to hate you. When it comes to taking these out later, you can then pick up the knot, which is not incorporated in the scab, expose that little end, cutting right at the skin, pulling out, you minimize the amount of suture that's been on the outside that you're dragging through the skin, so not trying to seed any infection. It's pretty easy to remove things. Okay. So that's the idea with your simple interrupted.